Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is basically a word problem with a quadratic. So let me read the word problem to you, because uh, it's not a complete word problem, just for sake of space. Uh, the revenue of a small business is represented by this function, and it's R of t equals 4t squared plus 7t plus 600, where R, which is the revenue, is thousands of dollars, and T is the number of years after 2010. Find what year when the revenue is $780,000, and then round to this year. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one in your own. All right, you should notice that you're looking for time. So since you're looking for time, you're given the revenue. So plug in, this is your R. So replace that with 780 equals 4T squared plus 7T plus 600. Now with something like this, uh, it's a quadratic. So you want to use the quadratic equation. Because sometimes it's not, how should I say this, factorable. But you can always solve a problem like this by using the quadratic equation. But first, before you do that, you have to set this equal to 0. So you subtract both sides by 780. And so this cancels. So you're left with 0 equals 4t squared plus 7t minus uh, 180. Now use the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root negative plus or minus. Uh, messed up the song. All right, let me sing again. All right, uh, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac up over 2a. So that is t equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So just do a little substitution. So your b is 7, so that would be negative 7, plus or minus the square root b squared is this squared, so that's 49 minus 4 times 4, and your c is negative 180 all over 2 times 4, which is 8. Now, break out your calculator, and you want to type this in your calculator. So I'm going to type it in one full swoop. So I'm going to put this in parentheses. So it's parentheses, negative 7. Now, once I'm going to do with the plus, so it's plus square root. And then under my square root, I'm going to put this. And with some calculators, you might have to use parentheses. So 49 minus and then it's 4 times 4, and then times, and you want to push the negative button. If you push the minus button, things are going to mess up. Negative 180, and over, or close parentheses, uh, divided by 8. Now here, I did the plus, and with the plus, I got approximately 5.89. Now I'm going to do the minus. Now with the minus, I get t to be approximately negative 7.64. Now, let me ask you this question. Can your time be negative? 
unless you have a time machine, right? You're going back in time. Well, you're going to reject the negative answer. You're going to set the positive answer. And this is a number of years after 2010. So rounds, you round up, so that'd be six. Six plus 2010 would be 2016. So the revenue would reach this um, $780,000 in year 2016. That's it.